How to tie the capstan knot. This is another knot where if I hold the knot itself I can make the loop bigger or smaller. However, if I pull on this standing end here and at the top of the loop I can lock it in place and now I've got a fixed loop on the end of my line. So as you can see in front of me I've got the rope to which I want to tie the capstan knot to. Top right there is my working end and the first thing I'm going to do is just take my working end and pass it over my standing end so we end up with a loop here on the right hand side. This loop will form the loop of our capstan knot. Having done that the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this working end over the top of my standing end again and then take the working end underneath the standing end and then over this one here, so take it under the standing end, over the next one, pull the excess through, and now that we've pulled the excess through, the next thing that I'm going to do is, I'm going to come up underneath this part of the loop here, so take it underneath that part of the loop there, bring it up, and then the final step is, we bring the working end round, pass it down through that triangular section there, so it runs parallel with that one there. So just take it down through there and we've now tied the capstan knot. The bottom right is the loop and all I'm going to do now is just dress it up nice and smartly and we end up with a nice capstan knot. Now we've got the capstan knot, it is fully adjustable so we make this loop here, it's a nice slip knot, make the loop as big or as small as we want, but if we want a fixed loop, all we do is pull up on the working end on the top right, the top left, on the standing end on the top right of that loop, pull up it on it sharply, and now we've formed a fixed loop in our rope. So that is the capstan knot.